get one shot this round after the disheartening desperation of the previous round and your emotional trauma that you're feeling within. Mm-hmm. Flashbacks to your childhood occur, and you pause. Right. You should talk to Abigail about it. Yeah. 26. Oh, 26 nice. 26 is a crit. So 2d8 plus 2 plus d6. 11. 11. Okay, uh, 11 is... Okay. Okay. Um, Abigail? You gonna take a shot at the same person I just shot. D20 okay. plus 8, 17. Hit. Oh, sorry. Roll D6 plus 2, 7. I'm still backing up to be like here. Yeah, at Behind that point you are now back. Your your back is like your foot is bumping up against the breakers as you step backwards. Ooh. Um, Asriel or Vincent. Uh, so if I'm if I'm looking at this thing, I, I'm pretty much under the impression that it is not human and it is probably evil or demonic in some form, right? Probably yes. It's about six three now. If I. Uh... Actually, I'll probably just do more damage the other way. I'll just uh, go and attack it with uh, the hammer again and scream Duloc once more. For 17. 17's a hit. 4 or 5. You strike it in the leg and you hear a crunching sound as your war hammer meets flesh. And as you pull it back, you do notice that there is some sort of like uh, fleshy substance stuck to the edge of your war hammer. Is it just black, or? I mean, it's like the the flesh that would come off as your war hammer beats the living daylights out of something. Gotcha. Yeah, Vincent, it's your turn. I just continue to batter it. Fifteen, 15. is a miss. Thirty-one. Thirty-one Damn. is a really big hit. Hmm. Is he still growing, by the way? Is he large yet? Uh, yeah, he's six three at this round. Hold on. Is there something past large? Is there like extra large? Huge, gargantuan, but your the die roll is the same. Oh, gotcha. Uh, um, sorry, sixteen. So that is max damage, um, <laughs> which is four times damage dice. Oh, is he large yet? No. All right, so four D eight plus seven. <laughs> Holy 30. shit! Oh, oh <laughs> my god! Wow, Good lord! Oh. You take your sword and you ram it all the way through the body. Wow! You can feel your sword hilt like running into the body, and you pull it out. Your sword blade is completely clean, and the creature aims for a swipe at you as soon as Lisa takes her blow at the guy in front of her, which I need to roll on stream. Uh, Did it roll for death, by the way? It's a critical. (laughs) Oh, that's a very good call. Pass. Lisa slices into the creature in front of her for five damage. Um, And it's their turn. The guy in front of you guys looks down at Asriel with this giant grin on its face and opens its mouth and a long tongue that ends in a fine point comes out and it all of a sudden lurches downwards towards Azrael to with its hands and face to bite him. Now I'm pretty short, Neil. You are pretty short. <laughs> Does Vincent get an attack of opportunity or anything when he kneels mm-hmm. down that that far? Does what? I'm sorry. Does that? he get like an attack of opportunity or anything for having to kneel down no, so far it, more than normal person? No. Okay. Just the way that system works doesn't work Good like try. that. Um, Good try. <laughs> uh, Asriel, your arm, armor class is... Uh, 17. 17, yeah. Uh, it hits. It, it's uh, Teeth sink into you, and you take... Whoa, oh, shit. <laughs> the suspense. You take 8 damage. Okay, so I'm at 38. Or no, 36. You're at 21. 
What? Oh no, all that damage is healed. I'm sorry, that's that's old damage. I'm so, oh, sorry. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 38. Did I, I said 6, right? Yes. I don't remember what I said. Yeah, okay. Um, or no, yeah. The, you, uh, Abigail, you see the door burst open to that second room that you went into. The door to this room bursts yeah. open and a large dog uh, comes out bounding at you guys. It looks like a some sort of Rottweiler, but its flesh is missing in certain pieces. Parts of it are hairless. hairless. Its eyes are wild and blood-stained with red speckles throughout throughout them. And it bounds straight for you. I scream Leap. out, evil dog alert! Is the dog smiling? <laughs> no, it's uh, growling and slobbering and leaving a large trail of um, mouth ooze behind it. It and leaps you, on you. Is gonna go past Lisa and go for me? Yeah, well, because Lisa's all the way at the end of the hallway, uh, okay, so the door right. opens behind Lisa. Okay. Uh, it leaps on you. 18 and misses. No, hits. It hits Aww. you. Barely. Yeah. You're you're seeing it. It dives on you and bites into you for. Four damage. Mm -hmm. You are at 20. Oh, no, hold on. Your HP up more. You are at 29. Okay. The creature in front of Lisa takes a swipe at her with long claws, which, you know, unravel, its fingers unravel and, you know, three inch, four inch claws appear. Swipes at Lisa, slashing her across the arm for four damage. She's at 26 out of 30. And it's initiative time. Bragger, you want to roll that one? Sure. You want to roll that to one? Let's do it. Oh. Nope. No, I do not. Roll it's nine. initiative. You do. Oh my god, you did another nine, really? <laughs> they go first. Of course. The the creature, again, uh, this time instead of biting, takes a swipe with one hand at Asriel on the ground. Swiping across and hitting Asriel. Hitting Asriel for, for five damage. Asriel, you're at 33. Okay. I'm liking um, these the dog, low, low damage. growling, takes another leap or bite at uh, Abigail, but Abigail sidesteps him, and the creature in front of Lisa criticals Lisa. Oh, shit. Um, uh -oh. Double criticals Lisa. Double criticals Lisa? I don't know what her AC is. Double criticals Lisa. She takes... Uh, she takes 13 damage. It's not too bad. Drops to 13 HP. And then Lisa makes that roll publicly. Did you roll it? Yeah, I missed it. Oh. And makes her save versus death. Nice. Party's um, turn? Party's turn. Bregor, you're first. All right. So I shoot the one I've been shooting at. Sixteen. Sixteen is a hit. Fifteen damage. Nice. Okay. Still does not catch fire, uh, but your arrow sinks into its arm. Okay. And it I seems to uh, flinch at the response. All right. Jen. 21. Okay. Oh, is never my mind. I forgot it. Yeah, it's yeah. an attack. The 21 is a hit. 11 damage. Wow. Um, the arrow strikes the creature in the chest and it disappears. It just like kind of withers into a, a bit of smoke and light for a uh, dark for a moment and is gone. This is the one that was no on me? Was this the creature that was biting me, Neil? Yes. Okay. 
Help! Help! <laughs> it's your turn. Jeff. Um, can I? Sh I can't shoot at the dog, right? Can I dagger him? You can dagger the dog. Uh, but not with the throwing daggers, or can I do it with the throwing dagger? You have to stab it at this point. So I guess can I use my Lord Fang dagger? It's plus two. Your Lord Fang dagger is in your bag of holding currently. Oh. So I guess I'll use my double daggers. Can I do two swipes? You can, but you get minus four to the first attack and minus two to the second attack. I'll still do it. Okay. So what would be my hit on that? Because I never did uh, this. It would be d20 plus one followed by d20 minus one. Wow. <laughs> do I Saber's roll the death? second one or? No, Saber's death. D20. Oh. Two. And what do I do? Do uh, I do the second hit or? Does it cancel my second hit because I failed? No, you, you go to stab the dog, the dog moves, you trip, you fall to the ground, one of your daggers falls out of your hand, and... But it's a cross. returning dagger, so it's back in my it's hand. It's a returning dagger, but it only returns when you throw it. It doesn't return it when you intentionally drop it, or accidentally drop it because you slipped on the ground. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> so I don't get my second attack in. No, your second attack is forfeit. Okay. My turn. Asriel and Vincent. Uh, I cast prayer on us. So now everyone gets plus one, they get minus one. Okay. No problem. Vincent oh. Longborn. I uh, do the Darth Vader stomp on the robes of where the monster was after Obi Wan Kenobi got struck down. There's, even, there's no robes there. It's just it's a joke, Neil. Gone. It's a movie reference. <laughs> and I turn around and I attack whatever's closest to me. I guess the dog, probably. Um, you can't see either of these creatures, but you can hear the dog growling and biting. Oh no, no you can totally see the dog because it attacked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the dog uh, right behind Bregor, uh, leaping after Abigail, who's on the ground now with just a dagger in her hand. Is it 12 or 13 with prayer? Plus one. Uh, prayer just gives it plus one, so 12. Oh, we have prayer on? I'm sorry, 13, 13. No. We do now. She, you just, it just oh, okay. came in. Okay. 25. Like... 25 is a hit. Uh, plus two for back attack brings it to 27. That's actually a critical. 2d8 plus still seven, or does prayer give plus one on that as well? Plus one on damage uh, as well. Plus one. Plus one. 15. 15 damage. You slice into the dog's hind legs, and uh, your sword comes away blood-free, and you notice there are no wounds on the dog whatsoever. Is it still moving? Excuse me? Is it still animated? Absolutely. Then I do my next attack for 33. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Wow. That's um, gotta be max, max damage, damage again. 4d8 plus whatever. Plus 8. Yeah. 21. Okay. Again, the blade sweeps through the midsection of the dog. You know, I mean, it like sinks into the dog. It doesn't actually like pass through it. It sinks in the dog. As you pull your blade out, there is no wound where there should be one. Can you rolled for critical. Yes, I rolled for critical with no effect. Lisa's turn. Uh, Lisa goes into a defensive position and and starts to back away. And as she backs away, she says, I could use a little help back here, guys. <laughs> okay. I could use a little bit of help too over here, guys. <laughs> We're coming. Um, initiative. <laughs> Breaker. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go let's... big. There, go small. there you go. Two like, or nine. Two that's or more nine. like it. Uh, okay. You guys go, go first. Nice. Breaker, you're up. Okay, so Neil, from where I am, what what can I see? You turn to the right. Mm -hmm. You see Lisa backing up sword <laughs> in front of her at the end of the hallway. A creature walking after her, who's about six feet, feet tall now. You see there's a uh, weird half, you know, uh, decaying uh, pit bull growling at Abigail, ready to pounce on her. Behind the pit bull is Vincent, who's like, you know bracing for an attack, and as you turned to see this, you saw Asriel running your direction, I assume? Okay. So I can, I, can, um, I can back attack the thing attacking Lisa? 
No, it, Lisa's backing up towards you, so we would hit the front of the creature. Okay, I will attack that one. Roll to hit. Isn't there like a dog right next to his feet, though? Yeah, there's a dog like four feet away from him. But Lisa looks more injured, correct? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Lisa looks more injured, correct? Yeah. Okay. 18. 18 is a hit. Eight damage. Okay. 29. Ooh, critical. Double critical. Double critical. You're using Three. fire arrows, right? Yes. And you know what? That eight should actually be a nine with prayer. Okay. And, and that's just third. Yeah, that should be 30. Okay. It's still just a double critical. 3d8 plus whatever. Plus 3 plus d6. Right. Plus one on your damage, remember. Yeah, yeah, that's the where the plus three is. Oh, so 11. Oh, God. <laughs> you rolled bad 3d8. Rolls. <laughs> you did 11 damage. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So 11 and 9. Yeah. Jen? So I'm going to move away from the dog. Like, away, away. And if I can take a shot, I'll take a shot. Okay. With my bow. All right. Um, also, I should let you guys notice that the hall where the other creature was standing before it uh, disappeared is slightly on fire now from all the fire arrows that have landed in the area. Gotcha. That's the only way to get out of this hall, right? Except besides, like, jumping. That's where the stairs are. I mean, whoops, move away from that. I mean, the stairs are here. This area is now totally open and clear. You only have one creature here and right, one... Right, but I'm, I'm saying it's on fire right here. Uh, it, I mean, the air is mist, so it's actually more on fire behind it. Gotcha. Like, back here, it's on fire. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to back off, pick up my dagger, and throw my double daggers at the dog. Okay, well... You're on the ground, so for you to stand up and pick up your daggers, you can only get one dagger attack. What if I, like, crawl back? Like, from the ground, I pick up my dagger, and I keep pushing myself back, and then I throw the two while still being, like, on the ground. Go for it. But penalty of one to hit for being awkwardly positioned. Okay. D20 plus... Let me go see for the daggers. It would be eight minus one eight. plus one is eight. So eight. You get the plus one for prayer, minus one. Yeah. Miss. 27. Um, double crit. So it's 3d... 3d4 four? plus... plus 3d4 plus one. One. Six. <laughs> Six. Oh my shit. Okay. Alright, uh, can I make it over to Lisa without having the wolf hit me? Yeah, totally. And what was her? Uh, you can't actually get to her this round. Your legs are too short. Or you could help me. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, is... no, Lisa backs up. No, Lisa will get to the end of the hallway this round because she's moving too. Never mind. Uh, yeah, you can get to Lisa, though. Okay, I'll she go. Just backs up, so... I'll go over her and just heal her with a like a light heal. So I think it's just D8 plus one, I think. Or is it just D8? Let me uh, look. Just D8. It's just D8? Okay. Yeah. Do I, do I get a plus one from prayer on that or no? This, I don't think so. Could Maybe this be though. counted as damage? No, it's not a damage. Uh, I'll attack and damage rolls and saving throws in the area, so I don't think so. Yeah, this does not count. She gets healed for seven. Not nice. Bad. Lisa is up to 20. Okay. Uh, um... Vincent. 33. <laughs> He's just rolling Jesus. Clear. Wow. Uh, roll for damage. 20. And he needs to roll for death. Yeah, I, it just rolled a 1 on save versus death. Ah. Um, Do I roll for severity? in the head. Um, first off, you, you kill it outright. You, I mean, you can roll for severity on the head if you want. No, if it's dead, it's dead. It's dead. But you, you sink your blade into its head, and its head just kind of, like, splits down the middle. 
uh, and the the dog like falls to the side, dead. If I step past it, am I in range to take my second attack out on the other guy? No, it's at the end of the hallway. It's not moving very quickly. Then I start oh. walking towards it. Okay. Um, you walk past Lisa, who, as you walk past her, well, I guess her, she already took her turn, so you can't do anything. Um, initiative. Prager. Wait. Oh, uh, whatever. Never mind. Okay. You want me to do it? Okay, Prager no, again. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. The two. Oh. Two. Uh, oh, re-roll. Oh, Tie. fuck. Really? Really? Like... Five. You go first. Nice. Nice. Pink die, you failed me. <sighs> supposed to roll high. <laughs> Those D pink die suck, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> 29. Ooh. Hit. It's got to be a crit. Yeah, uh, it's a double crit. So 3d8 three. plus 3 plus d6. Yeah. 16 damage. Okay. And I'm actually going to... Yeah, okay. 19. Hit. D8 plus 3 plus D6. 7 damage. Okay. And... The save versus death for the critical is a... Oh, where's that sheet? Is a pass. So it does not know effects. Um, everyone else in the party? I'll take a shot. Um, can I take my bow now? Or if I get up, can I take my bow and shoot? Or is that too much? You can take your bow and get a shot. Cool. D20 plus 9. Yes. 20? 20 is a hit. So D6 plus 3. 8. Eight. You shoot it in the face and its head like tilts to the side for a moment. Um, and it takes damage. And it's whose turn? Azriel's turn and Vincent and Lisa's turn. Is this the same creature that we saw in the hall? This is the one that came in through the window. It's the same type of creature that you same saw. Same type. Play. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so can I reach it this round? Yeah. All right. So I'll. Run at it, scream, do lock, and uh, attack. Seven, 20. It's a hit, right? 20 is the hit. For 10. Uh, okay. You crack it in the in the the hip, which is about as high as you can reach. Oh, on I didn't creature. have plus one, so it's 21 and 11. Sorry. 11. Okay. You're. You crack it into the in the middle of like the the hip region with your war hammer, your maul. What is this thing? It's the footman's uh, mace. mace. Uh, and you just like crunches into it, and there's a noise, and then the thing just kind of like twists into itself and disappears in a flash of darkness and smoke. Okay, so there's nothing else now. Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Uh... Can we stop the fire? Yeah, if we if we look back or run into that hall and look at the fire, like how bad is it now? Hold on, let me make some rolls as well over here. Okay. So there's also a slight fire starting down at the end of this hall, a never so slight one from the fire arrows. Also, Brigger, I've been keeping track. You are down to one, two, three, four, five, ten. This round, okay. I think. You... Ten left. Yeah. Um, the the fire over here is. Make some saving throws for the building. It is not going well. The fire is starting to get pretty badly out of hand. You can still make it to the staircase, but you probably can't stop the fire before it consumes the building, unless you could somehow get a lot of water on it really quickly. So it's still raining really bad? It's <laughs> raining outside. Is that yeah. helping against the fire, or is the fire not outside Yeah, yet? the ceiling's well, burning off. Well, the fire off. is not... The rain is still on the outside, and the fire is still on the inside, so... Let's break the roof. Yeah, if the roof is on fire, wouldn't <clears throat> rain be coming through? I mean, it hasn't burned through the roof, and it's not just, like, the ceiling is the, like... Things are taped to the outside of the ceiling. There's a gap between it, because it's a slanted ceiling. So there's probably That's... an attic or something up there. 
Let's try to break the roof, guys. How are we going to go about breaking the roof? Well, also, we may want to consider that it is... This is like a very good spot to end on. Okay. Where you guys are inside of a burning building. I'm okay with ending here, if you guys are okay. okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's also our plan yeah. to stopping. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we have, like, three minutes from stop. Okay, cool. So, yeah, uh, when we pick up next time, we'll figure out how the fuck we're going to get out of here. Um, let's do some shout-outs. Ryan, why don't you start us off? All right, bros, as always, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for all the content that you guys make. You guys are awesome, as I say every week. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, at MLG Ryan. And, as always, I will be streaming after roleplay you can find my stream over at twitch.tv slash Ryuzilla. All right. Jen, some shout outs. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all the fan arts, like everyone always says. Thank you for posting on the subreddit. It's super cool to go read what you guys write about it. Uh, make sure to follow me uh, at LevinPinkSC2, Facebook.com uh, slash LevinPink, and on my Twitch channel where I stream a bunch of games. And where I stream Misclicks D and D, which is another D and D show, along with the girls and Neil, and it's really fun. I really think you guys should check it out. You can find the vods on YouTube.com/misclicks, and uh, yeah, check out my YouTube as well. I've been doing a lot of YouTube content on there, so YouTube.com/livingpink. And sub to everyone, sub to JP and to Neil and to me to get cool emotes. Jeff, do you have a sub? Nope. Oh. Okay. Ryan, you don't have it yet, right? I do not. Okay. I got a Mr. Mugwuggles. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, some shout outs. I got a Dalamar and an Uncle Oris, so there. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah, and a, I know. And a, 20 and a D20. And a, 20 and a 20 and a 1. It's called D20. Aren't Breaker. the Dalamar and Uncle Oris is just your face on a different body? <laughs> yeah. Chat made them for <laughs> I have a pimper, Neil. I have Neil with a hat. There you go. There Let you me go. post it in chat. <laughs> Jen, or sorry, Neil, do some shout outs. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is our first venture into a slightly different style of roleplay. There will not be a Q&A this week whatsoever. Um, and any questions or PMs to me will be completely, completely and utterly ignored until the next time that we play. Uh, if you post questions in the previous roleplay threads or Q&A threads about tonight, I will delete them on the spot. So... Wow. I'm going to keep uh, information silence until we see how everything plays out here. Cool. Other but if they that, want to um, discuss with us, they could still do a thread to like... No, no, they'll just go to your stream and ask you there. That's what you do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys can watch my stuff at twitch.tv slash um, There's nothing coming up for the rest of the week. We'll be streaming this weekend doing some fun stuff, but nothing, no big shows, nothing serious. Come and hang out. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. It was great. All right. Jeff, some shout-outs. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Uh, other than that, guys... Whoops, that's the wrong button. We'll play... Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to uh, figure out when exactly the best day is. Uh, tomorrow before I leave, I'll be gone this weekend, so no streams or anything like that. Uh, we'll be playing World of Warplanes. You can go and download it from the link that was just pasted in the chat. And, yeah. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Neil, thanks for the uh, the other... Whatever the, the different type of role plays you said. Thought it was uh, more atmospheric and it was fun. It was good. Yeah, it was really cool. So mm -hmm. excited for the next time. We'll uh, see you guys later. Thanks all for watching. We are out.